記憶シェアスハイキャパシティ CXL メモリ。In this movie, we will explain k i o k s h i a s approaches towards high capacity CXL memory using flash technology. This movie consists of two presentations. The first one is randomly accessible CXL memory using low latency flash memory. The second one is high bandwidth CXL memory using Bix flash. Hi, I'm Kazuhiro Hiwada from k i o k s h i a I'm a researcher working on CXL memory using low latency flash memory called Excel flash. Excel flash is a low latency flash memory with less than 5 microsecond device latency and high IOPS. In this figure, access size and IOPS are denoted for DRAM and Excel flash. DRAM has better IOPS here and has better bandwidth. Indicated by loop lines. However, Excel Flash covers all applications we've tested and showed competitive performance with DRAM. So, we are investigating Flash based CXL memory solution using Excel Flash, a low latency flash memory. In these experiments, we've used Excel Flash based SSDs with 64 byte random read option. The SSD-based interface is good for random read application, but with CXL interface, we can cover 64 random write as well, so that applications designed for DRAM uses load store semantics can be covered. So in this presentation, I'd like to introduce Excel Flash-based CXL memory POC and what we can do with CXL interface. This is the expected memory tiers in next few years. We expect that CXL memory will change hierarchy, and we expect Excel flash-based CXL memory will cover these areas. Our POC module will be consist of in-module SRAM cache, compressed DRAM tier, and Excel flash tier. Excel flash is a low latency flash memory with high IOPS per terabyte. It's about one gigabyte per sec, in 64 byte random access. The other tiers have better bandwidth and latency. By combination of these tiers, we are trying to replace DRAM at lower cost. This is random read application example. Graph processing with Excel flash. This figure shows the execution time of Blaze fast search on various sides of random graph using DRAM obtained DCPMM and Excel flash. Point A shows DRAM scales up to scale 30. It is limited by capacity. Point B, obtain DCPMM scales up to 31, but slower than DRAM. Point C, Excel flash scales up to 32, and the capacity is not limited. And also, D shows that Excel flash works fine with other graphs and algorithms. There are four key points to achieve in-memory class performance in graph processing. The first point is hiding the long latency of Excel flash with lightweight context switching. Second point is software overhead reduction in I.O. operations. The third point is using simpler interface. And the last point is using high IOPS controller, more than 10 mega IOPS per terabyte. We can omit point two and three with CXL memory interface because that is already simple enough. Currently, we are working on the POC, Excel flash-based CXL memory, and also working on its demo application targeting next year. The first one is Firecracker, a virtualization environment for function as a service. The others are Aerospike Server, a high-performance key value store, and CacheLib, a embedded cache library, and DLRM, the deep learning recommendation model. As I explained, 
one important key point is hiding microsecond level latency of Excel flash. As for the Firecracker, we are trying to use device-side cache and hardware prefetching so that we don't need to change the user functions. As for the other applications, they are commonly used data management softwares like databases and AI frameworks. We are trying to change the software to have software prefetching for far memory accesses. Today, I'd like to explain the first approach using Firecracker as a motif. There are many small functions running on Firecracker. Each function uses memory for their working set and snapshot. We are trying to keep working set of hot functions in DRAM and offloads less frequently invoked functions to Excel Flash. This way, we can offload majority of data to Excel Flash while keeping competitive performance. From preliminary experiment, access pattern of moderate skew that is good for device-side cache and compression ratio is as high as two times. In addition, while resuming snapshot that often happens in Firecracker, we've found that more than 512 byte read-write mix access is majority. And that is a strong point of flash memory. This table shows the target performance of Excel flash based POC memory. In case of 512 byte random access, Excel flash can provide 4 gigabyte per sec. With device side cache, we are expecting up to four times better bandwidth. With compression, we expect two times better cost and endurance. By combination of device side cache, compression, and hardware prefetching, we are trying to replace DRAM with Excel flash in Firecracker. For three other applications, we are trying to hide the latency by software prefetching. In case of AeroSpike server, we offload values to Excel Flash and prefetch them by software modification. In CacheLib, we keep hash table in near memory and offloading cache items to far memory. In deep learning recommendation model, the majority of data called embedding back is offloaded to far memory. Expected performance is 100% of DRAM when using CPU version of PyTorch. And accesses to the embedding back are often heavily skewed, so we can serve more data with device side DRAM. That would be good for GPU or accelerator based implementations. In summary, Excel Flash works as fast as DRAM in many random read applications such as graph processing. And read-write capable CXL interface will enable wide application areas as shown in demo examples like Firecracker. Currently, we are working on FPGA-based emulator that will emulate not only Excel Flash but also device-side cache and compression so that we can evaluate system level performance. The last message is that we are searching for industry partners. We'd like to evaluate Excel Flash with your systems and applications. We are more than happy to collaborate. Thank you. Hi, I'm Seiji Maeda, Chief Specialist and Solution Architect of Kyokushia. I'd like to introduce Kyokushia's another CXL-related solution, high bandwidth CXL memory using flash memory, Big Flash. Big Flash is Kyokushia's 3D NAND flash memory, which offers scalable high density and cost-competitive high performance. Utilizing vertical scaling and lateral scaling, Big Flash achieves 
leading gigabyte density. Thanks to CXS standard, as a new memory interface named CXL.main protocol, big flash can be accessed as not storages but memories. And large capacity of big flash enables to realize a large capacity memory features tens of terabyte capacity access via CXL.mem protocol. CXL plus big flash is a memory module which consists of CXL controller and big flash like this, offering low cost and large capacity having memory interface. CXL plus Big Flash is suitable for sequential read intensive application and the game changer of big data analytics. Kyokushia is now developing the first working sample with CXL 2.0 by 4 lane interface, adapting standardized E1.S form factor to utilize ETSFF ecosystem. This working sample supports CXL.mem protocol for read and CXL.io protocol for write. This working sample will be ready early next year. The feature low cost and large capacity realize in-memory big data analytics at low cost. And memory interface allow accelerator to read big data directly and scan the data thoroughly. Therefore, accelerators like GPU, FPGA, and AI engine can exploit huge potential of CXL plus big flash. Each accelerator, such as GPU, FPGA, and AI engine has advantage in big data analytics. For example, general purpose, low latency, and power efficiency, respectively. However, all the accelerators share the same problem to access big data shown in the next slide. This diagram shows a server with an accelerator board inside. The accelerator access input and output data via external interface like PC Express or CXL. Work data tend to be stored on HBMD RAM inside. When input data is getting big, external interface becomes a bottleneck. To avoid it, move big data from external to internal and use internal memory interface to access that big data. To implement additional memory interfaces supporting any kind of memory types, CXL is the best memory interface for accelerators. CXL Plus Big Flash is a memory module and can be read without any I/O operations. And accelerators have CXL interface and CXL .mem protocol can read big data directly without any CPU interactions. Therefore, CXL Plus Big Flash is suitable for accelerators, especially in big data analytics. To confirm the advantages of CXL plus big flash with accelerators, we set up an evaluation environment which consists of server and FPG accelerator with big flash for proof of concept. A query engine which scans data in database management system or DBMS is offloaded from CPU to FPGA, and big data is moved to big splash. The evaluation result on the right side shows the relative throughput of FPGA and big splash in green, in addition to CPU and DRAM in gray, and FPGA and DRAM in yellow. When the data size exceeds DRAM capacity, the performance of each DRAM-based solution is degraded due to data transfer bottleneck. However, FPG and Big Splash can sustain the performance beyond DRAM capacity. The first working sample of CXL Plus Big Splash will be ready early next year. 
Qxshare is looking for partners to evaluate our samples with accelerators like GPU, FEGA, and AI engine, accelerating applications like big data analytics and any other applications. Thank you for your watching our introduction of CXL plus Big Flash.